a bigger strategy. Watch your city council in action. Review the video from the August 9th San Antonio City Council meeting about the uh, equality initiative pilot for the next three year strategy that they have for San Antonio. Uh, it, once you look at that, it'll open up your mind to the bigger picture of what's going on and what they would like to do to our city and to our Texas history, which is absolutely ludicrous. That's right. And we don't need to be enlightened about the Alamo because we're Texans. And we cannot and we will not allow the vandalism of our voices any longer. This is Texas Freedom Forces about to start the battle to take Trevino and City Council and hold them responsible for their lies and their corruptions. We will stop their liberal march and we will be, and they will be held accountable for their actions and the, to the people of San Antonio and Texas. We're filing a recall petition to remove uh, District 1 City Councilman Roberto Trevino and District 2 City Councilman Cruz Shaw. You guys are going to see us out and about in force over the next several months gathering signatures and support, and we need each and every one of y'all to stand with us on this. Less than 7% registered voters voted last the last election in San Antonio. I'll say that again. Less than 7% of the registered voters voted in San Antonio. That has to change. We need to talk to our neighbors, our family, our friends, and get them registered to vote so that we can put a stop to the desecration of our Texas history because the only way that they're going to hear us is if we take it to them, take the battle to them. You know, there's, you know the saying that is no surrender, no retreat. Remember the Alamo. It's time that we answer that call once again. It's time that we plant our boots in the ground and say enough is enough. Leave our history alone. We the people of Texas hold the power to end this, but it's up to each one of us to engage in this battle and to hold our representatives accountable for their actions. Don't remove this in attack. Leave it right where it stands. Thank y'all very much. God bless you. Good afternoon. No Alamo defender came here seeking a glorious death. Most of them were fighting for a fresh start that Texas promised. They were not part of an obsessive death cult, nor were they Japanese kamikazes, suicide bombers bent on ritual suicide. Such fanaticism was no part of their cultural tradition. These men were citizen soldiers. They may have been willing to die for a cause, but that was never their intention. They fervently prayed that such a sacrifice would prove unnecessary. Each of them savored life's pleasures. Daniel William Cloud, a 22-year-old attorney from Logan County, Kentucky, left his parents behind and wrote them loving letters. In one, he cited his reasons for fighting for Texas. If we succeed, the country is ours. It is immense in extent and fertile in its soil and will amply reward all our toil. If we fail, death in the cause of liberty and humanity is not cause for shuddering. At 59 
years of age, Gordon C. Jennings was the oldest defender. He, his wife Catherine, two sons and two daughters, immigrants from Missouri, had built a new life for themselves in Bastrop. That family paid a high price for Texas independence. Gordon fell here at the Alamo. His brother, Charles B. Jennings, died in the Goliad Massacre. The three Taylor brothers, George, James, and Edward, came from Tennessee. They were inseparable, and they all died on this ground. 